Scenes of everyday life two years ago seem very unusual to us today. At the time, the routine of the mundane life bored us. We could have never foreseen that one day we will miss that routine and wish for nothing more but to get back to it. December 31st, 2019. The world waits the turn of the new year and the beginning of a new one. Meanwhile, the unknown coronavirus was roaming freely across the borders. March 2020. Thousands of cases are reported all over the world. It's not a joke. I don't know what more. The WHO declares the COVID-19 virus a pandemic. China has identified the cause of the struggles to contain the virus. This is a rapidly emerging situation. First US case has been detected. The virus continued to spread exponentially. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Countries started counting cases and death rates were rising. The situation spiraled out of control. Only then did the world take the pandemic seriously. Travel bans were issued. Airlines canceled flights and most countries enforced the quarantine. Schools and places of worship were shut down, followed by imposing curfews and restricted social distancing mandates. The virus attacked viciously and countries were forced to lock down completely. Healthcare professionals joined forces and attempted to treat those infected as field hospitals were set up. The world was going through very tough times. In June of the same year, the number of deaths surpassed a half a million people. Fear quickly turned into terror. For most, it seemed like time is running out and that we were quickly approaching the end of the world. Medical advice on how to fight the coronavirus was passed around. Doctors highlighted the importance of strengthening the immunity, focusing on mental and emotional health. They encouraged people to have high spirits and to avoid sinking into despair and frustration. Some of the worst pandemics in history have doomed whole nations and brought them to their knees, killing millions. In the 14th century, the bubonic plague infected 50 million people. At the turn of the 19th century, the cholera killed 15 million people. And in the 20th century, the Spanish flu infected 500 million people, about a third of the world's population. At the end of 2020, the number of COVID cases surpassed 75 million. Undoubtedly, the price for the lockdown was shattering to the economy. We suffered from boredom and self-isolation but it doesn't compare to the suffering of millions of underprivileged lives. As we fought the virus, some were engulfed into wars and political conflicts that they are innocent of. And others were impoverished as most businesses came to a halt. Yet there was a silver lining. The ozone layer has shown us signs of recovery allowing Earth to breathe, improving the health of our planet. 
nature finally took a much needed break from the havoc we wreak. After flattening the curve for a few months, some countries began to gradually open up again. With strict health measures of mandatory medical masks and social distancing. As new waves of the virus hit, nations swayed between complete lockdowns and opening back up. Life adjusted to a new normal, which was worrying and upsetting to us all. But it did help us overcome our initial fear and feeling of impending doom, while recognizing the gravity of the situation and the importance of adhering to the precautionary measures. The crisis is not yet over, but we have adapted ways of coping. We regained mental balance and realized the importance of communal support. Sports, arts and hobbies helped lift our spirits. We learned that staying positive is important. We are grateful to the elderly for their wisdom and guidance, but also to the young for the optimism they spread. Through positive thinking, the world boosted its moral as well as its immunity. The youth reignited our lost love for life. The secret of survival may just lay in the delicate balance between the wisdom of the elderly, the liveliness of the young, and the smiles of our children. The youth are the driving force for change and development. Their positive outlook on life holds the secret to our happiness. They hold our equilibrium. Together, we can recover. With hope and awareness, we can regain our strength. Together we thrive. Think positive, test negative. Back together.